Okay, so we have a turnover right here. So Shea Gildas Alexander has the ball. So this Blazers player here just needs to get back, okay? Don't go towards the ball when it's beyond half court. That's just delaying you getting back. Once you're across half court at the three-point line, then you can go towards the ball. But look at this Blazers player. He's going towards the ball out of the gate. That just guaranteed you that you're behind the play now. Okay, if you're in drop coverage, you still have to be in a defensive stance with your feet set. You've got to be able to guard the ball. Like, you can't just not guard the ball. Look at this. Your feet are not set. All you're doing is backpedaling. You have no chance of guarding the ball right now. So this Blazers player had to come all the way in to guard the ball. So he's not going to really have a chance to get out, okay? So you get beat right here. This player obviously has to step up and take the ball, and he does. But th what has to happen now is this player is going to have to, when he gets down, come over here to push this player here, to push this player here, because this player's got to go here if this player's got to take the ball, obviously. But those rotations just are not really happening, and now this player has to go challenge the shot so there's no one to box out. Okay, this player's just backpedaling the whole way, guarding Shea Gildas Alexander, so he has no chance of guarding Shea Gildas Alexander. Stop. So right now, this is where, look at this Blazers player. This can't happen. You cannot not be seeing the ball. Because, what? well, this Blazers player also can't be just trying to guard Shea Gildas Alexander one-on-one. -on -one. He's got to play on his side and force him right here into where this help should be. Okay, I can stunt. I get the dribble picked up. I can recover. But, uh, yeah, none of that happens. Okay, so Jalen Williams drives the lane here. So his dribble is picked up now. So what is this Blazers player doing? You're not helping the ball. You're just standing in no man's land. Get out. Like, get out. What? Are, like, look at the, like, what are you doing? So the Blazers don't defend this down screen. That is certainly a problem here. You got to get attached with your arms out so this player can't curl and you give this player time to get over the screen. You gave this player no time to get over the screen. Having said that, this player cannot switch to what he thinks is a handoff before the handoff happens. Like, are you kidding me? Okay, what is this Blazers player doing? You've got to stay with this Thunder player. Look at this. This is just horrific. Because now, look, now this player can't just focus on this Thunder player. He's got to worry about this Thunder player, too, now. And that's not good for anyone. If you want to get in the gaps defensively, stop. This player needs to be over here now, back to the baseline with his feet set. See, none of that's happening. So his feet are not set. He's moving inward, so he has no chance of getting outward. You're also, your back isn't to the baseline, so you have no idea what your man is doing. It's all just not going to work out. Okay, so this Thunder player uh, blows by his man stop. So this player comes up to double, obviously, because he has to, and this player sinks in because you obviously can't allow this pass to get made. But this player can't be looking at the ball because he's got to pretty much be worried about both of these Thunder players. And when you're looking at the ball, you're worrying about zero of these Thunder players. This is obviously horrendous defense by this Blazers player. Just get back, okay? Please get back. What on earth are you doing? Okay, if you're this Blazers player, you can't guard Lugan Stort like this, obviously. So you got to play on his side this way. You got to fort because this is where your help is. See, look what happens here. You let him go this way. So now this help has to come all the way from over here. So now that causes problems. Now uh, this player's got to worry about this. This player's got to worry about that, and nobody can worry about this Thunder player. What is happening here? This Blazers player is guarding the ball in transition. Why does that stop occurring? There's a lot wrong with what is happening in transition here for Portland, but we will focus on this player for now. Sprint back. You have to sprint back. You have to sprint back. You've got to be able to shift over here. Stop. See, like, you have no ability to slide. Like, if this pass gets made, because you jog back and you're like this now, you're not going to be able to shift over and take Josh Giddy. I mean, I mean, the shot goes up. If you're this Blazers player, you got to go find your man and box him out. Like, your first instinct, that's got to be your first instinct. Not stare at shot, because now long rebound absolutely goes to Oklahoma City. Okay, so Jalen Williams makes this pass. Stop. So... You can't just relax on defense, ever. Like, this player's got to stay in a defensive stance. When Jalen Williams comes up here, you're coming up here, you're in a defensive stance with your feet set. Look at this Blazers player. Why? Look, that's not happening. So now Jalen Williams, you're, look, you can't guard Jalen Williams on this pass now. <laughs> this 
is a bad switch. You got to guard the ball normally, okay? If you get screened, you get screened, and then you switch. The problem is this player's not guarding. The, you are essentially now committing to a switch right now when this player hasn't even come off of a screen yet. So that means that this player here is going to be late switching onto the ball handler, and that is not good. You've let Shea Gildas Alexander roll the ball this far without touching it. You got to just let him go as much as he can because you need to be in a defensive stance with your feet set. See the problem here? Look at this. This player's climbing up to get Shea Gildas Alexander to pick up the ball. Well, you're going uphill now with Shea Gildas Alexander's going to get it and go downhill. If you're Nazir Little here, this is way too much seeing ball, no time at all seeing your man, which is Shea Gildas Alexander, by the way. See, look at you're not even you're not seeing the ball. Like, okay, you can't just be seeing Shagles Alexander now. Like, you need to already be over here in a defensive stance, ready to guard him. Like, you're not, and now you're just off balance, and that does not work against Shagles Alexander. Terrible switch. I mean, was there communication here? There's got to be. You can never just assume someone's switching, but obviously, when this player comes this way, you got to switch on to him. Like, something. There's bad communication because we have two people going to the ball right now. Okay, so this Blazers player is late to get out here. You have no chance of guarding the ball. I mean, look at it. You have no chance of guarding the ball. This player is in the gaps. Now, he should be getting up, but he should also be saying he's in the gaps because this player can't guard the ball one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to have to play this player on his side. So get on his side, force him right here. This player gets up more like he's supposed to, especially he'll be, he'll be able, if, and he's in a defensive stance with his feet set, he'll be able to stunt, help you out, and easily be able to recover. But again, you're trying to play this player one-on-one -on -one is a lost cause. Okay, so you're going to double Shea Gildas Alexander stop. So this player's not getting back out to Josh Giddy under no circumstances, but this player can. So when this pass is made here, this player's got to come up. And this player goes here, this player goes here immediately. All as this first pass is being made, but none of that happens. Okay, so we have a turnover here. Stop. So this Blazers player needs to start getting back now. I mean, this little delay here really hurts in the long run. Okay, so that happened. This player here just also needs to focus on getting back and getting underneath the ball, which he can do, but he's going to instead try and gamble, and now he is behind the play, and problems are very prevalent now.